the defendant it says to make big improvements is basically what i put on that yeah i don't have notes on that but we didn't have a formal hearing no your honor uh, you just reset it I all right it was, we're okay you make payments yeah. I, I, I couldn't care less stuff that's not the issue it's he didn't re report of course all of his issues are important but the failure to report was important but i need the probation officer right they've been notified but i'll sir they were notified earlier but i'll uh, step out and try to see where they're at well we can't do anything without them mm -hmm. i'm gonna give them a few minutes then we're rolling on i got other things to do we'll have to reset it all right you know what i mean robert bosher please I believe it's pronounced as Shea, Your Honor. He's Whatever it's B O U C H E R. That's what I'm looking at. Bobby okay. Boucher. That's it. Bobby Boucher. Yeah. Water boy. Yeah. Bobby Boucher. The water boy himself. And that's what I call high quality tool. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. We'll see. You can do it. You can do it all night long. Everybody watching enjoys it. I know. What we're here for, Judge. Two cases. You're Mr. Uh, how do you pass your Boucher, name? sir. Oh, Robert Boucher. All right. Earlier, sir, you pleaded guilty here in two cases uh, 22402. One seven. It looks like the third degree felony of operating a motor vehicle in a public place while intoxicated. And then in 2240218, third degree felony of evading arrest or detention with a motor vehicle, the third degree felony. Both of these third degree felonies are arising out of the same event on or about March 22nd of 2022. A pre-sentence report has been prepared in these cases, and by the way, you are here with your attorney, Mr. Macon, and the state's attorney is here. A pre-sentence report has been prepared, and the parties have an opportunity to review it. Any corrections or changes to it? None from the state, Your Honor. None from the defense, Your Honor. Then it's made a part of the record for all purposes. Uh, the agreement was that you would be pleading guilty in each of these cases, sentenced to 10 years in prison, those sentences should would be suspended. You would be placed on 10 years uh, regular probation, fined in 40217, and, and a condition of probation in the operating a motor vehicle in a public place while intoxicated, third degree felony, 40217, commands it a minimum of 10 days in the county jail. Do you understand? Yes, that? sir. It's a minimum of 10 days, and the court always looks at uh, the circumstances of uh, the case in making my decision. There are a couple of questions. Uh, Pre-sentence report without objection? Without objection. No. All right. Uh, it's admitted. Uh, let's see. In looking at criminal history, first one, under adult felony criminal history, this is, is this true? A date of offense, March 6th of 2020 in Hardin County, and that's pending to this day, four years? It, what happened in that case? And Do you know, sir? Mr. Boucher? It could be, uh, it should be what happened in that case? Do you remember? I mean, you would know. It's your life. Yes. It was in Hardin County. Yes, sir. What, what ended up happening in the case? It's, uh, it's still pending. It's You're still kidding. Years. Four years? Still running four around. years? Yes, sir. Do you have a lawyer in that case? Yes, sir. Who's that? Mr. Macon. Oh. Okay. We sent them letters, Your Honor. Oh, well, it's, hey, you see you're not. Answers. If it's not disposed of, you're not convicted. <laughs> but that seems. Well, I don't know what it is, but I, that's a. 
a, an aberration of time. I, I can't believe something like that has proceeded for four four years, but. Done this long enough to see what's an aberration and what's normal, and that seems to be an abnormal amount of time. Even for a part in county, yes, there's a anyway. Do you know anything about that circumstances of that case? Uh, no, Your Honor, because I I don't know much about it, except it occurred before he committed these two offenses, I presume, or not. I don't know if I could presume anything from that county, the way things get done sometimes in different counties. But I would think that that case was pending at the time. You must have been arrested. You had to have posted a bond. Correct. And then while that bond was posted, while you were awaiting disposition of this case, then you commit these two cases, which doesn't, isn't a point for you because you've been put on notice about a DWI, a, a felony DWI, that we, take it, that we take it seriously. And then thereafter, you come into this county and commit the same kind of a uh, crime. Misdemeanors, I see a theft uh, in 2000, uh, looks like regular probation out of Orange County. 07, driving while intoxicated, uh, that was disposed of in 08, you were sentenced six months in jail, probated for 18 months. A DWI second in 2013, 180 days in jail, probated for two years, $800 fine. Then in 2013, dri driving while intoxicated, one year in jail, probated for two years. So I'm looking at one, one theft. In 01, then DWIs driving while intoxicated. One in 08, even though that was probation, it was you were found guilty. One in 2013. One in 2013. Again, one's 9913, a DWI second in this county. Then another is a DWI second out of Hardin County. Although it's interesting, they must, Hardin County must have used the 08 conviction as a primary, uh, an original, an earlier offense when they did the DWI second. So you've got one, two, three misdemeanors of DWIs, and then two pending felonies of DWIs, and then an additional felony of this evading arrest or detention. Do we have that about right? I think so. Is that about right, sir? You think? Yes, sir. That's the way I read this. So, <clears throat> I'm going to follow this agreement once again, and this will be the fifth time you've been placed on regular probation for operating. It'll be five times now, five cases that you've been placed on probation for DWI-related offenses. Yes. When is enough enough? This is enough right here, Your Honor. This is, I'm fixing to go, fixing to go away for, I think it's 20 years. So this is the knock in the back of the head. This is when I turned to AA and getting help, and also with the interlocking with the, and my vehicle, you know, that just takes it all away. 
And uh, this is finally an understanding of that I have a problem. Now I got a support system to to walk me down the line to keep me, you know, this I'm a hard headed male and this is finally the bump to the back of the head that's to set me straight. Well, certainly a long time coming. Oh, it's only I, been sixteen years since you were convicted of your first one. Sixteen. Yeah. You know, I guess it takes longer for some part I think, for the thoughts to you know work their way through their brain. But I don't think you're an ignorant person. I just think you're making foolish choices. But you've chosen you'd rather drink and drive than other things. Acting, uh, namely, acting responsibly on the road. Uh, people drink; they shouldn't, but if they, at least too much. But if they get into a four thousand missile, um, it is difficult to understand and appreciate why it is anything other than just a very selfish act. It is because I've listened. To far too many cases of victims, victims' families weeping and just wondering out loud how someone can act so irresponsibly in light of the fact, especially in these cases where you have previously been held to task for wrongdoing. Yes. But it's those those resonate because they're asking for help from either their creator or justice. And if you're coming up for the fifth time, people wonder uh, what's not working. All right. Uh, Anything else to add? I think we're going to stay here. Your Honor, all we have to add is that uh, any jail time, uh, Mr. Boucher is asking that begins this Friday, March 8th. But since I have represented him, he has uh, impressed me with his final decision to not drink and drive and change his life. Let me ask him. Back. In 2013, when you were put on probation for the third time here in Pardon County or DWI? Yes. Why didn't you make that decision then? That uh, it's the third time, this is too many, and I, I'm going to follow the rules and respect others and their safety and not act foolishly or did you i did your honor my 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 deal is my wife she does not condone my drinking there's no drinking at my house there's been uh i don't want to say incidents every i'll say that every time i drink there's a problem i create problems drinking it creates problems for me if i drink one it's the same thing as me drinking 100 but so I, I'd be, you know, it's an old country song. Uh, I, something would come up at work, I'd get a bit depressed or something like that. I'd get angry. Since there's no drinking at home with my wife, I would leave to go drink. And then I wouldn't make the decision to get, uh, you know, a taxi or something like that home. I would ride home with a friend or something. These times that I was caught, I would drive home. And it'd be a short distance because there's no bars right across the bottom from where I live. It, it's it is 100 percent a problem now i know that the knock on the back of my head is me going into aa for the past two years and realize that it's a chemical imbalance in my head my head is not wired to have one drink i can't have just sit back with friends and enjoy myself my body tells me that once i have that one drink i have to have more and then i'll drink myself into oblivion well this is fixing to get and like i've shared in the two different groups that i go to this is fate. I do accept my punishment 100%. I, I'm 100% liable for it. 
I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for the ways it didn't turn out other ways. I'm thankful that I didn't kill somebody on that highway, somebody's kids, one of my colleagues, friends, or something like that. So this is going the way that it should go for me. And I, I regret it 100% and will promise to never walk in one of these courtrooms again involved in drinking and dry, drinking whatsoever. It's separated. Why don't you, make that, why don't you make that promise? Four DWIs the, ago. Now my wife and my son are gone. They've moved out. We don't live together. We're on the verge of divorce. And there's really, there's nothing else for me unless I get my act together, stay sober. And in this past two years, well, I've made great strides with my family on maybe seeing some light at the end of the tunnel, as far as that's concerned. All right. Well, it, it, not to belabor this, but at the end of, of the day when you boil this down this crime is really a crime of selfishness it's if you could hit seven have selfish being a felony it would be dwis because it's all about the defendant that's all they're thinking about mm -hmm. enjoying their their thrill and family is not thought about apparently you don't consider them. You don't consider others on the road. It's all about you. Agreed. And this is in every case, especially when you've got five of these, which is, I don't know, uh, probation. If there's a probation term, quit being selfish, being self, start being selfless. Accountability. Well, you've been an adult. How old are you? 41 now. Mm -hmm. You've been an adult 23 years. It's about time to mature, but well, many people come in this never get it. And, and but this court with five DWIs here, uh, and this last one being a uh, case where these last two. Or instances where you must have no, I'm trying to think about them. Yeah, the, the O nine. The 09 case and the 11 case, those are two separate offenses. You committed one after you were arrested and put on bond for the other. And then you disposed of those within two weeks of each other, one in this county, one in Hardin County. So you even you were juggling two charges at one time in 2013. All right. In each of these, anything else? Yes, pre sentence reports made a part of the record for all purposes. In each of these cases, I'm going to be following the agreements. Uh, you have pleaded guilty in each of these cases voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently to the third degree felonies of operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated in a public place with two prior convictions of DWIs in 2240217. And you have pleaded guilty voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently in 40218 which is the third degree felony of evading arrest or detention with a motor vehicle, which grew out of the same uh, event. You, I guess you were trying to avoid police when you were trying to, when they tried to stop you. And that resulted in this new offense. You understood and appreciated the consequences of pleading guilty. There was sufficient evidence supporting your guilty pleas to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I now find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in each of these cases. I am following these agreements. You were hereby sentenced to confinement in the institutional division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve a term of 10 years in each case. In each case, those will run concurrently. Also, those terms of confinement will be suspended for 10 years. There will be terms and conditions of probation, which are normal and customary for these types of offenses. Also, you must pay a five hundred dollar fine in four zero two one seven, and um, uh, as a con 
as a condition of probation in each of these cases. You shall serve a term of confinement of 180 days in the county jail. Are you, are you going to want to do that on weekends? Is that what you're asking for? No, no Your Honor. We just asked. Day that for day? All right. Begins, when can that begin? March 8th. All right. That will begin March 8th, which is two days. And that's six months, sir. Uh, you get a minimum of 10 days, but I can do up to 180 days. Okay, I understand. And enough is enough. Understood. The one thing I can be sure, because we can't, you're saying things that we hope you can live by, but you've made promises before about this. One thing we can be certain about is while you are in jail, you're not out on the road threatening others Agreed. with your irresponsible uh, behaviors. And nothing like time in jail for an extended period of time can uh it can do wonders for people to come to appreciate and understand how the blessings of liberty also go with the responsibilities that you have for everyone else by enjoying those liberties uh, there are limits to the liberties and you don't operate a four thousand pound missile irresponsibly when others as well as yourself, or in harm's way by your actions. And I, I, it's a rare, this is a rare thing, and I can't really recall it, but five DWIs in, a, in this span of time. This is the fifth time I'm sure a court has lectured you about the importance of right versus wrong, a good decision versus a bad decision. Um, what other terms and conditions of probation would be good that we have available maybe it's span of time this for, for this uh type of situation the, the probation orders might be in the file judge and they might contain the rest of them okay i see thank you We need to add on our Can add 180. Yes. On the body of these orders. To be good more date. Yes. Yeah, I did the wrong thing, didn't I? It's right. Kelly. I think it was a five hundred dollar fine on the on the uh, one Can we pause the deferred out? Yes, sir. There is no fine in four zero two one eight. And actually, on my order, I'm not sure that 
Yeah, that's not applicable. That's not applicable for this kind of case. Yes, sir. Okay. I think I'm just going to do the 180 days on that one case. The one case, and uh, I'm negating or deleting the court's order on the 180 days in 40218. I don't think. Um, yes, sir. It, it it makes any practical difference. Um, yes, sir. And that, that can be going on. I think I'm signed when I need that to yes. All right. Uh, you must report uh, honor about uh, honor before six o'clock p.m. on that day. So that would be is that Friday? It's Friday. Yes, Friday. This Friday. Do you understand, sir? Absolutely. Yes. Please do better. A little bit of court uh, as this proceeds. We'll review uh, that condition. Thank you. Thank you, George. Be good. All right, uh, Alexis Dixon. Hmm. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point? Don't smoke crack. 